Hello, everyone. <laughs> Finally got it right. Okay, so hey, everybody, it's Mari. Thank you so much for dropping by. I am excited for today's live. <laughs> oh, man, you know, one of these days, I'm going to get all of this tech figured out. Gosh, there's a lot for an old lady like me to sort out. I, you know what, the last time I was live, I totally forgot to give Kathy Zelski a shout out. She actually is the person that helped me um, get all of the new equipment that I've purchased recently. I have been live here on Facebook and YouTube before, but I had really old equipment. I actually, one of the things that I used to use, believe it or not, was an old iPhone 6. And I also used um, an older webcam and I also had a newer iPhone, lots of different iterations of the live setup. So now I have this really fancy front facing camera and I have a fancy overhead camera. And I don't know, I guess I really should try to go live more often. <laughs> so that's the goal. But anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be using products from Crafters Companion. I do work for Crafters Companion and I spoke with my rep, my, the, she's actually a vi the vice president of sales with Crafters Companion, Kimberly Saldana, and we talked about um, me doing more lives. So that's what I'm going to try to do is share more of the beauty that is Crafters Companion with you and do a few projects here and there as well. So I am going to flip you over to my desk and I am going to bring up the comments over to the side. We are going to put more lights on the desk and I am just going to bring up the comments. I do have a fancy button for that. So I guess I should do that. Um, hey, Kelly. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Leslie. So great to see you guys. And Lynn says she's ready for the craft along. Me too. I think it should be fun. I'm hoping that you can hear me okay. I um, I might just bring my microphone over a little bit closer to me. I kind of have it over to the side a little bit so that you didn't look at it when you were looking at me on camera. But um, I think hopefully that should work a little bit better. We'll try that anyways. Hopefully it's not too loud now, but I will watch the I will watch the comments and just listen for any feedback that you guys have for me as I'm working away live here. And I am assuming we are good to go over on YouTube as well. I'm just going to double check there. And it does look like, yep, it looks like we're live over on YouTube as well, which is fantastic. So we are good to go. Okay, I am going to be working with a really beautiful product from Crafters Companion called Fabulous Fuchsia. And it is it is a really, really pretty collection. There are a ton of pieces to the collection. I'm not going to show you all of the collection this time unless you ask me to, but I have linked in the description box below of the YouTube video to the collection so that you can look at it online and see what it it looks like what all of the components are but there's a ton in this collection there's actually even a topper pad with this one which i'm going to show you today i'm going to just zoom out a little bit here so that we're not in quite so tight because i can do that now i have a remote that zooms in and out. How fun is that? So we have this really cool little six by six decoupage pad that's um, coordinates and, and works with the collection. It's part of the collection. And so I wanted to show you that today and just show you how these decoupage pads work. If you've never seen one of these before, they're pretty cool. And let me know in the comments if you've seen Crafters Companion decoupage pads and if you've used them. Um, I'm actually teaching at Crap and Create um, at the holiday event at the end of November. And we've got a really, really fun uh, decoupage pad that we're using for that class too. Hi, Cheryl. Um, Cheryl says she's been trying to clean her craft room, but not very successfully. She keeps finding things to play with. Well, that is awesome. That is fantastic. So that is fun. I do find that I do the same thing when I'm cleaning. I tend to get sidetracked um, because crafting is always more fun than cleaning, right? Okay, well, we're going to make this pretty little card here today, and I'll show you the products that I'm going to be using to create the card when I'm working away. Um, and 
Okay, so Cheryl says she has not seen decoupage. They they are pretty fun and really, really super easy way to add some beautiful dimension to your project. So what I did, and I did do the die cutting ahead of time because I don't feel like on a Sunday afternoon, everybody has necessarily hours and hours to spend at a craft along, but um, I do have a top folding white A2 size card here, card base. So what I like to do when I create my card bases is I like to use the, what I call the Jennifer McGuire method. Um, I love watching Jennifer. I always pick up tons of tips and tricks from her videos. And what I um, saw her talk about one time is how she likes to take a piece of eight and a half by 11 uh, paper and she scores it in half horizontally and then what she does is she just cuts it in half so that the score line is there and then she folds it like so so that's a really easy way to create a top folding a2 size card and so I'll just take my cardstock and get it all scored and then just cut it in half across that score line and then you've got your your card bases so it does work really well so that is our card base for our project today. And along with that, we have the beautiful die cut pieces that we're going to be using to embellish our project. So what I used for that is this fabulous fuchsia opulent duo die set. So this is a two piece die set that will cut out this frame and this really pretty kind of like doily center. And I'll just show you what these dies are like. They're really, really nice, really excellent quality. I do find that the Crafters Companion dies work really, really well. Of course, I use my Gemini 2 for my die cutting and it does an excellent job so that with a single pass, you get all of the intricate detail cut from those dies. So these are the pieces. The white is just from some white cardstock from my stash. And it's just really pretty. I like that a lot. And then when you die cut out the frame, it releases the inner part, which you can use, right? So you don't have to toss this away. You can use this as well as an insert for your project. So that's what we're going to do today as well. Now, this cardstock is from the linen cardstock pack from Fabulous Fuchsia. I really like the Crafters Companion linen cardstock um, for a few reasons. The pads coordinate with the paper from the collection. So for example, there's actually also vellum that's part of this collection, which is beautiful. So for this card here, you can see I've created the card front there from some vellum. And um, the card stock coordinates beautifully with the other paper. So whether it's the six by six paper, the vellum, the 12 by 12 paper, whatever. And so this card stock pack has a variety of different colors that all coordinate with the patterned papers. So really nice. And so those are the, the die cut pieces that we have there. I also really love how this frame, and I don't know if you can see this, I'll just bring it up a little bit for you, but there's a tiny little dot all the way around the, the frame that the die cuts into it. So you can see it here a little bit more easily on the packaging. Right in there, you can see all of that tiny little faux stitching. I love that detail and it's all the way around the edge of that frame. So I'm actually going to stand up for a minute. I'm just gonna move my chair back. And what we're gonna do to get started is we are going to go ahead and add this frame to our card base. So to add that frame, I am going to use a little bit of liquidity. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm going to use a little bit of repositionable on, oh, you know what? I don't think I have the repositionable. This one is the permanent, but that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit today for the purpose of the live and use a little bit of this tape runner, but you definitely can use your liquid adhesive or whatever you normally use for your adhesive. And I'm just using this just because it's going to be a little bit more quick. And now I'm just going to hopefully not get my head in the way, but I'm going to get this down centered-ish on my card base. That's pretty close. 
Okay, you can kind of see the adhesive there a little bit, but you get the idea there. If you use your liquid adhesive, you won't see that. But so for the purpose of timing, I just did that just to be a little bit more speedy. So that frame is really lovely. So you can imagine if you had a landscape card, it would be really nice like that as well. This actually would be really nice even on a five by seven card for your focal point. Now with this, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop this up on some foam adhesive. And so I'm just going to grab a little bit of foam tape. This is the Alta New Big Mama Roll of foam tape. I do like it. It works really well. You can actually tear it if you want, or you can cut it, whichever you prefer. So we're going to use a little bit of foam tape on the back there, like so. And this is just going to give this um, piece a little bit of bump on the front of our card. Just add that little bit of dimension. So what have you been doing this Sunday afternoon besides Cheryl cleaning her craft room? What's everyone else been up to? Have you been crafting today? It is super snowy and kind of dreary here where I am. But after the live, um, my husband and I are going to go out for a walk. Wendy. <gasps> Hello, Wendy Urban. Oh, my gosh. It's fun to see the names of people who were patrons over at Patreon. So welcome, welcome. I really appreciate you and thank you for popping on. I love it. It is so nice to see those familiar names coming up. It's great. In fact, I think everybody that's here that's commented was a patron <laughs> when I had my Patreon. So that's very fun. I love it. Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate you a lot. So we're just going to finish. I don't want, obviously, any of this foam adhesive poking out beyond that purple cardstock. And I'm just going to grab a couple more little pieces. We don't want anything saggy here, so we'll just make sure that we have a little bit more foam tape on here. Um, I know lots of you who are on now are scrapbookers. And I do have a scrapbooking video premiere Wednesday, November 1st here on, well, on YouTube, not on Facebook. And I'm trying to remember the time. I think it's maybe 8 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday. If you can hear some screaming, it's my neighbor's kids outside <laughs> and they're having fun. It's, it's happy screams. Oh, it's Monday morning there. Wendy is in New Zealand. It's Monday morning here, tail end of cyclone here, wet and very windy working from home. I think it's, I think it's New Zealand, right, Wendy? Which is nice because I can watch. That's awesome. Fantastic. Oh, I'm really happy to see you. I've, you know what, I've thought a lot about the people who are over on Patreon, you know, um, I was over there for was it close to three years? I think it was. I feel like it was. Maybe it was like two and a half or something like that. I feel like it was three. But um, I started that kind of, a well, near the beginning of the pandemic. And it was just a really nice um, gathering place. I think that might be stuck down. I would have moved that over a little bit. I'm too busy chatting. So it's not quite centered, but it's pretty close. Um, yeah, so and, you know, then I, I let um, the, um, I let it go. So I let Patreon go just because I couldn't keep up. And, you know, then you kind of lose touch with people. So it is really nice to see, see you guys so much. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so now we've got that bumped up on that foam adhesive. Um, thank you so much, Lynn, 8pm Eastern time on Wednesday. Thank you so much. And I love that dimension that that gives on that car front. I think it looks really nice like that, right? Kind of nice and dimensional. And now I'm going to show you how to use this decoupage pad. So I just took one of the sheets out of the pad and it's all color coded and numbered. 
So wherever you see a pink number, those go together. Wherever you see a light purple number, those go together. And a dark purple, those ones go together. So we're going to use the pink one. And these are all perforated. So you just have to punch them out. And take these guys out. There's a little bit more to, to release there, but I'll get that. And then number two is down here at the bottom. So just pop that out. So um, cyclone season. Okay, how does that go, Wendy? In one hemisphere of the world, it's called cyclone. And in the other hemisphere of the world, it's called, is it hurricane? Is a cyclone hurricane? And then here's number three here. But it's very probably very stormy there. Really wet and windy. Okay. Oh, I wonder if, so is the cyclone season there worse than usual? Like it just seems like now we're in this pattern of extreme weather everywhere. So I'm just wondering if it's worse than usual or if it's just kind of like the same. But so now you can just see there's these little extra bits here. You just have to pop those out. And again, they're perforated so that you don't need any scissors for this at all. You might need a pokey tool. Um, and I did in my Wild at Heart Live, I did talk a little bit about this essential tool kit from Crafters Companion. And it in does include this pokey tool. And I've linked to that in the description box below on YouTube as well, just because I feel like it's a really great value. And it is fantastic. I'll show you again what's in that. You get the fussy cutting scissors. You get the tweezers. You get the craft pick. You get a craft knife. You get the self-healing mat. And you also get a little metal ruler that has metric and imperial on it. So I think that's a really great value. Yes. So now... We have all of our little pieces um, punched out and I, you can use um, whatever type of foam adhesive that you have. I like to use the thinner foam adhesive and this is scrapbook adhesives by 3L. I like to use the thinner stuff because then it's not two dimensional and you can just put a few little pieces of this on the back. By the way, you can use these decoupage pads for your scrapbooking as well, not just card making. And then you just line this up with this piece here. So you line it up. I'm trying to do this without having my head right over top of it, right? Because I'm filming. So I'm going to do the best that I can and get that lined up. And then you can take this piece here and again, Put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back. You don't need much. Oh, I just got the release paper on that. Give it a press. And now this is going to go on this one here. Okay. And you just pop it on there. Like so. And then it just creates that dimension in that way. I feel like I didn't get that lined up. I did not get that lined up. Just because, like I said, I don't want to get my big block head in the count on the camera here. So I'll just kind of hold it up and get that lined up a little bit better. There we go. That's better. Okay, so you can just see how nice and dimensional that is. Hopefully you can see that. See the dimension that you get? Yes, yeah, same as hurricane for you. It's early, usually more risk January. Oh, okay. We don't get many, but these seem more destructive. Shoot. Well, hopefully you're okay. Batten down the hatches or whatever it is that they say. <laughs> Stay safe for sure. We, where we are, of course, in, I'm on the prairies in Canada and Saskatchewan here. Um, we, we just, you know, we're just getting into winter. So it's snowy season and we already have snow here. It's kind of melting today a little bit, but it's definitely snowy. So now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of liquid adhesive on this other delicate piece here, which is super pretty. Really, really pretty. Love it. And we are going to center this as well. Just let this go. 
And I'll try to use a combination of the camera <laughs> and get this, try to get this on here straight. Just hold that up and make sure that it's not wonk. It's a little wonk. Just give that a good press. Make sure that I have that nicely adhered onto that linen cardstock. Looks pretty good. I love that, how the white pops off of that dark purple. And now you can just add your um, piece on top of that. And I'm just going to put my pin in my glue here so that it doesn't dry out. I would like to add this, I think, with more adhesive than I, or foam adhesive. The nice thing about this, like I said, it's thinner, so it's not getting super thick yet with these thinner squares. The fuchsia is pretty. I like it. It looks like a real flower almost. I do like the decoupage pads. They're really easy way to make a pretty embellishment for your project. And now I'm just going to pop this on here like so. And what I did with this sample here is I just tied a little bit of gold twine around the whole thing. So you can see on the inside how the twine is tied right across. So I just used a little a little bit of gold twine from my stash and just tied a bow around there. Now to finish the inside, I actually used another die. Let me just grab that. I didn't put that on my desk, but I've got it. That is from, I believe, yep, yeah, that's from this set here. And this one is called elegant frames which is really pretty i'll open this up so that you can see it you actually get five dies in this set and so it's a layering set and you can just see here all of these different layers that you've got you get you can get frames and single layers and so on for a total of five different dies which is great so what i did with that is I used this size here just to create that base for the sentiment which I popped up on some foam adhesive. So it says wishing you much happiness today and always which I just used a circle punch to cut that out and that is using this loving thoughts sentiment set which is a really nice set. Um, it says wishing you a day of happiness grateful and blessed Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Just to let you know, with love, you are so special to me, always in our thoughts, wishing you much happiness today and always. I am so lucky to have a friend like you sending hugs and happy thoughts. So this is just a really nice basic sentiment set that has some really great basic sentiments. There's 12 stamps in there. And so that's what I used for the sentiment for the inside of my card. I'll show you another project that I made with Fabulous Fuchsia. This one uses, again, that same um, Elegant Frames die set here for this piece here. First, I added some vellum um, on the card base. So the vellum packs are always gorgeous. This is an 8x8 eight eight vellum pack. I'll just grab it. It's beautiful. The colors are just so stunning. I'm hoping the um, camera is picking this up. Okay, probably should have lifted up my blind here. I'm going to try that. I wonder if that will make a difference. Hopefully that helps you to see that. But look how pretty that is. And of course, the nice thing about the vellum is it's translucent. So you just get a little bit of a different look than with a uh, patterned paper. And there's so many things you can do with this, right? This would be really nice for an aperture card. Um, for different techniques where you want that that um, translucent effect to be effective for that technique. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. 
gorgeous little hummingbirds on there. Really pretty. So this is the vellum pack. And then there's some solid colors in here as well, which is nice. So you get kind of a purple and a pink. So in that pack, you actually get 24 sheets of vellum and they're gorgeous. Now this card here, what I did with this one was I used the Cascading Fuchsia stamp set. I stamped it out in black ink and I used an alcohol proof ink because I used um, the Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. So I used an alcohol ink based marker to color in the blooms and the leaves. I used a little bit of stickles on here as well. I don't know if it's picking up the sparkle and shine there at all. But then of course I used the coordinating die from the stamp. So this Cascading Fuchsia is a two piece set that includes this one's not open. So this I usually sometimes I'll get doubles of this product when they send it out. Um, but there is a coordinating die that comes right in with the stamp. And it just does a really beautiful job of cutting out that gorgeous stamped image. So I um, die cut that out and then popped it up on some some foam and attached it to that frame. So a really nice focal point for the project. Then I just ended up stamping with um, some um, embossing ink onto some black cardstock. And then I did some white embossing powder on there and used my embossing heat tool to melt that to create that sending hugs and happy thoughts sentiment there. And that is from that sentiment set that I showed you previously here, this one, which is called Loving Thoughts. So that's a couple of projects that I created with the fabulous Fuchsia collection. It is a really pretty collection. I love it. I think that there's so many different ways that you could use it and you definitely could create a scrapbooking layout with it as well. I'm just going to bring you back to my face here. Did that work? It worked. <laughs> So just a really quick live today, just sharing uh, some of the beautiful products from Crafters Companion. Um, they just really do have some really great collections. And October was a really big month. Um, we had lots of different releases. I didn't even show you half of what we had this month. They had some really great stuff for Halloween too. But what happens is I send my samples to... Um, to Kimberly in the US and she uses them, you know, she she uses them as samples there with her. So she I know that Joanne in the States is a big customer of ours. So she'll take some of the samples to the Joanne stores and that kind of thing. So I don't have any of my Halloween samples to show you here. And I know Halloween's just a few days away. But if you did get any of that Halloween product from Crafters Companion, um, Crafters TV does have some really great inspiration with those products. Oh my gosh, the 12 by 12 papers from those Halloween collections were amazing. They also had some really fun little dies for making 3D projects and that kind of thing. So November is insane. I cannot wait to show you one product in particular. <laughs> that is really fun. I can't say anything, but um, I will show you here in November and it is very, very cool. And I think it releases around um, maybe the end of the first week or something like that of November. So when I am able to show you the November releases, I'll hop back on and do some more crafting here with you. But if you are interested in some scrapbooking, I do have some 49 and market scrapbooking on Wednesday. So you can watch that premiere here on my YouTube channel. I will be in the chat. So it's not a live. How a premiere works is um, the video goes up and you can watch it. I've recorded it as though it's live. It's not a voiceover. So if you were one of my patrons on Patreon, it's very similar to that. And then I'll be in the chat with you um, answering questions and that kind of thing. But it is a really pretty project. I, I'm really happy with how that turned out. And I'm definitely planning on doing more lives. I'm doing a lot of teaching in November. So I've got a couple of crop and create events and I have two classes for the paper and ink boutique in November. So um, I'm going to try to do a couple of lives. And then hopefully in January, I'll be doing, I'll pick a day of the week to do regular lives so that you can tune in regularly. And I'm thinking probably it will be in the evening. Um, 
I think that probably works best for most people. So let me know even in the comments what day of the week would work better for you. Um, probably around this time of day or maybe a little bit later in the evening. Um, yeah, so just some thoughts. Still working that kind of thing out and getting used to coming on here regularly live so that I can use all of this equipment that I spent a small fortune on. <laughs> So hopefully that works out. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me today. If you're watching on replay, thank you for joining me. And it's been really fun. And now I'm going to press one of my fancy little buttons on this fancy little machine here to end the live. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.